Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Max, knitwear designer, co-owner of Les Garçons, and I survived the eclipse. And by eclipse, I mean the movie from the Twilight franchise. <laughs> um, no, you don't. And I, <laughs> Vincent, I'm a yarn dyer, also co-owner of Les Garçons, and I think I got a tan by looking at the eclipse the real one the total one that we were in the path of no you didn't <laughs> lies and welcome to a brand new episode of happy hour with Le Garçon. and we're back with cocktails yes this is um a margarita but pimped out or yeah i didn't have all the proper, All the in proper yeah. ingredients, so I just made it up, but it's tequila. So, cheers. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. So, uh, we'll start with some really sad news. Um, unfortunately, Lola passed away two months ago. It's been two months now. Uh, yeah, which is why we sort of went silent on YouTube. Uh, we wanted to only live, like, it's a personal thing to go through, so we wanted to go through it by herself. Um, she was 15. Um, yeah. She was with me for 14 years and you 11. I was her second family, and she was so, and I know she was loved here too because she was always popping in because she was always, yeah. always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so she was like, oh, yeah, it's done. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was a hard time for us. Um, I would say if you ever a dog or a cat pass away, do try to, if you can, go out of the house. So we have actually, we're going, uh, we went on two trips and it's yeah. sort of help of not being in the home where, you know, if you're living with a pet, it's their home and you're a guest. So it sort of like felt nice to be. Yeah, uh, we... Well, one of the trip was planned, which was um, the UK. We were um, vending at Unravel in Farnham. It's a festival that happens twice a year. Once in the spring, it's three days, and then once in the fall. Um, so we were there in February. That was already planned. We then have a week of vacation. Um, in London with Max um, having some birthday things because I had planned yeah. um, things in London because we knew we were going. So I had planned things that uh, went to see a musical. I got to two. go see six. We went to see two musicals. Yep. And he, the door was open for him to go see Frozen for like 20 minutes. So we got to see it because uh, what's her name? Oh, I forgot her name. Elsa. They said that she was back for because she was really, really good. Yeah. Um, and then there was a retreat uh, from Events Unwound, Carmen, a yarn story, Walcott Yarns, uh, all our her businesses. Uh, so we had that planned as well. So that was planned. Um, and then we booked uh, last minute. Mexico vacation with our air miles air miles uh, we had so many and never could take them because it was never the right time so we just said F like, it while we were grieving <laughs> we, were, we wanted to get out of the house and you know like yeah so it just we just booked it and we left for Mexico like a week yeah. or two right after yeah. after the UK but so and it's sort of like going through a breakup losing a pet where she was so old and we were you know where we were struggling to have her being dog sit and there's mm -hmm. more anxiety surrounding it that once she passed away we sort of we sort of feel like we got a little bit of our freedom back of being able to not have to think about taking the dog outside before going somewhere and all those things yeah. so it's sort of a you know because she was in pain for a long time that the got our freedom back so it's sort of like that's why we booked the trip and we just like went on a whim so we've it's the first time we've took that much <laughs> vacation in such a short amount of time yeah yeah but we'll be back here for quite a while now because yeah. 
Um, it's Tanya's turn to go on vacation this month. So she's she... going to Walt Disney. Yes. So we'll be back. We'll have more episodes. We have lots to show you today because we obviously kept knitting and doing stuff. And um... you're going to see my grief project, which is like a big three color color work sweater <laughs> that I was like, I need to get my mind out of something. And I've just worked on it. And it was just like my way of processing. Yeah. So we're not going to be that. Uh, we're going to change the tone now because yeah. we're going to be more up, go back up, to the uplifting thing that we are. Uh, but thank you for everyone who, who gave us some really nice word or comforting word. Um, we're yep. fine now. It's just, you know, those little things sometimes. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. And that's why we were drinking this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Margarita in yeah. the tan was not for the yep. eclipse. It was from Mexico. So. And I am get I get easily tan. No. You tan easily? Uh, yeah, I tan easily. And like day one, like done. We can go back. <laughs> I got the tan at the bottom. And day one, I was red. And then day two, I stayed under the shade. And then day three, I was fine. And it was a nice vacation. Um, so yeah, that's what happened in the last, last two, two months. When was yeah, the last two months ago? I yeah, looked. I looked two months ago. Well, yeah, so a little. That's it. Well, well, no, wait, we what what. We sent the first one before we left. The second one, second one was sent when we were in the UK, and then the third one was sent around Mexico. Yeah. So, so what you're talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about the mysterious cabin uh, club, which was the one that just ended. Uh, we're like mid-April. Everyone should have gotten their third or are close to getting it if you were overseas. Um, so we haven't shown any of the colorways. No, nope, so we're, we're going to be able to see them all, all at once. See them all, and they're still like wrapped. So these so. are our uh, mysterious cabin, which is a three months success club. When you subscribe, you get three months out, three success delivered to your door every month for three months. <laughs> it's all in the title, and the oh, theme no, is mysterious the one. cabin. Sorry, the first. The first one is the. The cat. first one was the cat. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, this one was nice. I liked yeah, the pairing. The, way, the pairing. Yeah. Um, so, always comes with a little pin, um, a little cat in this case, and then a little sticker of, the said, of said cat. cat. <laughs> Who's wearing the little... Yeah, little socks. Yeah. And then, ooh, I kind of forgot about it. About it. About it. <laughs> Turn Canadian. Um, so <laughs> this was the first one. Well, Turn I'm already Canadian, but uh, this was the first month. So you have like a tonal, like we usually dye semi solids. Yeah. And um, for the clubs, we usually go like with a little bit of difference. Um, so this one's a little bit tonal. There's like variation in it, and you don't see it, but then there's a little pink. Um, for the heel cuffs and toes yeah mini uh and then there's a little suck progress keeper on here this is on our bfl uh and nylon base it's actually the what's the name of it uh it's called bfl suck yeah <laughs> it's very simple it says what it is i said what i said and second month uh was the dog well what kind of dog is it max it's what? a dog it's <laughs> um, wearing a little hat. Um, ooh, I also forgot about this one. <laughs> it's Christmas all over again. Yeah. So this one's uh, second month. Oh, I, I forgot too. <laughs> yeah. Second month. Uh, it's like we barely put any black on the... Um, base on the base to just like neutralize because the bfl sock is just a little like yellowish like ecru yellowish tint to it so we kind of neutralized it with a little uh gray and black he did a purple <laughs> shampoo to this game 
Yeah, it's exactly what yeah. I did. Purple shampoo. Um, <laughs> and then we had some uh, rust. Well, like the speckles of this color over here. And then some little blue speckles that uh, won't show yeah. probably in the they're, camera. But they're like baby speckles. Yeah, so they're ba really like, fun when they appear in this game. There's some at the top. Yeah. So that was month two. And then month three, which was the latest one. Um, it was the bat, because on the little card, um, there was a bat. Um, someone that <laughs> saw the club at first, uh, because the bat on the postcard is like in front of a mounted panache. deer panache thing, uh, thought that the bat was also mounted, mounted, but no, the bat was alive. Um, <laughs> well, there's two of them. I hadn't seen yeah, the there's, stickers. There's actually three on it, but there's they're playing yeah. the ball. So there's two little uh, bats and a little ball of yarn and then a little bat here, pin. And then it's actually better than I remembered. <laughs> wow. So <laughs> as you can see, we to, to his defense, we've been gone for like a month. So... <laughs> Yeah, and well, you saw that they were still like, they were they they've been we I, we have now we uh, have two dyers in house, and I basically don't dye anymore, but I do help uh, find the colorways and do the tests, and I yeah. come up with um, the skeins and then the method to dye it. Um, so I knew about those. <laughs> But then I didn't die. You them. were just aware of it. Yeah, I didn't like. I only died the first batch um, to test and made like maybe two yeah. or three batches if we don't get it right the first time. But um, so yeah, but they wow, they do look great together. And as you see, like it is that's what it we, is the postcard. What do you do? Yeah, it, it's always like exactly the postcard into uh, skeins. Wow. Um, what we're starting to see more and more, which I found really cool, is people who don't really knit socks or uh, if you subscribe to many other clubs and you get more yarn than you will knit socks. These are yep. great uh, pairing for any kind of shawls. Well, as you can see, the three skeins plus their minis all coordinate with each other. Yeah. And the reason behind it is because it's coming from illustration. So it was always already, already designed to go together. So it would easily make shawls. Yeah. So I'm, it's kind of okay. I will admit that you're happy now. I'm happy now because I we came back and I was like, Ugh, we have to do an, well, not we have to, but he was planning another club and I was like, but I was not happy with the last one. But then I am happy and yeah, it looks good. And we were just tired before leaving. We that, were yeah. so tired. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, and then stuff happened. So maybe that's it. Because uh, I did shut that conversation <laughs> quickly. I'm like, I like it. I like Because <laughs> yeah. one of the things I really love is combining uh, brown with pale pink. I think these would be like amazing, yeah. amazing socks and like genderless. Oh, there, so if you, um, I, you don't have to, but we have a Ravelry group. And we always, to the club members, say, like, go on there, share your um, socks photos, and your knits yeah. and photos. And then someone made socks, like, really quickly with the, um, this one. And they looked really great. So like, I knew this one looked really great, but I forgot about the other two. Um, I think this one, the speckled one, I would do a vanilla socks. And with the other two, I would do, like, yeah. pattern, the... cable, like, anything, 52 weeks of socks. Ugh! What? Oh. <laughs> There's a big spider on the... Yeah, let's cut. So we're back. We didn't Spider get list. Yeah. It's... Well, it's still alive. It's outside. But um, it's not inside. And it's not... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. I'll go the other side. It's hot in here. Um, I think I'll... <laughs> so we were saying... Uh, well, the club was done. We are we've we're gonna launch this weekend, so on Saturday. No, we haven't talked about the new club. That's what I'm gonna say. Well, we you said we're gonna launch. What what are we gonna launch? The next club. You haven't said it. 
I just saw I'm gonna try to say, but what Saturday is gonna be which date? Um, I don't know. The ten. Do maths. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. So Saturday on the thirteenth at noon. Eastern. Sorry, sorry about my hair. That time. There you go. That's a complex thing. Saturday at noon, Eastern time, uh, daylight, Eastern daylight time. We're gonna launch the new club, and the team theme. The team. The theme is Mysterious City. Oh. You can go online and see the yeah. illustration better. Yeah. Um, we decided to do Mysterious City, and it's inspired by a Canadian city and one that is close to our home because <laughs> I don't know which one. We're here. <laughs> uh, it's inspired by Montreal. Um, you will see in the illustration the background is actually the front of our shop, and I thought it was a great way to highlight us opening a shop. Yeah. Here. So. A uh, typical Montreal thing, uh, raccoons uh, that live on the Montreal. Um, I don't see where it is. The, the one with the bow tie. No, I see the raccoon. I don't okay. see the other. Oh, it's behind the raccoon. Uh, there's a little pigeon over there. Um, a typical traffic orange cone. traffic cone. And then a beaver is not really Montreal, but it's Canadian. So Yep. It represents <laughs> Canada. But you won't find one here <laughs> so we uh well like we'll get inspired a little bit more by the colors of the animals and not the back which kind of looks like the back of the other one yeah. so don't worry it's going to be different colorways um it's going to be fun this one i'm going to like i'm going to like until the end you like not <laughs> not <laughs> just when we reveal so it, here it is. Uh, don't miss it out. Um, we have limited quantities, like we, like usual, because we want to just like keep it fun and light. And yep. yep so that's, that's the it. next one. So um, I think we. I was about to say, where's the? Okay. The spider. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's by. It's it's outside. Um, just wanted to say for this one, mysterious bat. Um, it's blue. Has speckle on it. Let me just see. There we go. Uh, like little brown speckles on it. We accidentally, and by we, I mean, well, I won't throw anyone, let's say I did it. Uh, we collectively made three uh, batches too many. So we have like 36 canes of uh, that colorway that is going to go in the stash enhancers. But if you receive one, or if you see this, and like it or if you see the picture that's going to be posted soon this week next week of all the three and you want it send us a message an email DMs, comment under yeah. dm uh they're not gonna we're not gonna put them directly on the website for now but if you want some if you want a sweater quantity if you want two three let us know and um if not they're gonna appear in the stash enhancers and the yolos at some point but just a little fyi okay next thing uh, finished it's a spinning and oh. this is just right here it is from uh fiber by la bien -Aimé. it is her she she turned her confetti base into just fiber uh to spun spin spin and i made a three ply with it and this is um, 50% merino, 30% Shetland, and 20% recycled LBA thread. And the color is gris ephemer. Yep. I made a three ply out of it, so I did a whole uh, one really long single that I divided in three parts, and then I've plied it all together. Um, I'm really happy with it. I really I made a sport weight version of it. I didn't want to make it a worsted one because it's exactly what she sells. So it's sort of weird to just, it's not Ikea. I don't want to like do exactly the same <laughs> skein as Build hers. your own yarn. Yeah. But I think this would be a really nice, simple one by one hap, rib hap, or a pair of mitten, mitten. I don't know. I got myself a dark blue, black version of this one too. So I might wait to pair it with this one. So that's what I've spun lately. Okay. Um, oh, before that, we forgot. There's another new things we just finished. Labels. We don't see it. Do you have another one? Well, 
Actually, oh, you've seen they, it a little they bit. Were, <laughs> they were on the previous They one. were <laughs> They were on this. <laughs> um, so we see it a little bit better. Um, we change our labels. That's it. <laughs> we worked with uh, one of Max's friend from university, uh, Amanda, to basically revamp the labels so that they kind of match the aesthetic of the shop and um like our mood board were like mostly uh wine labels yeah um because i come i've studied graphic design at school with amanda and i come from from that but i've mostly been drawing children book illustrations so at some point i always struggle to make things look you know like posh expensive elevated and i i her all of her things are mostly like black and white things so i thought it was like the perfect pairing with her so there's like our logo in gold in copper foil and yeah. all around you, you there's a texture. And there's where it joins, like there's a little uh, spot varnish texture. There's a little Max's little fox that's over yeah. there. Get You will have to buy a skein to or see it. Or on the website, the photos that Remy took oh, are yeah. really, really nice. But I, you don't see the back, I don't think. Um, no, you no. can see the front, but yeah. um, if you want to see the back, you'll have to buy a skein. That's 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 it we uh oh, you <laughs> oh me we actually put the yarn information a little bit bigger also that yeah. was one of the comments that we got uh was that the um yarn information and meterage and yarn composition and everything like that was a little bit too small um it was too small like it's just no excuse uh but so the yarn information is directly on the label now and then you have a little sticker at the back for the color weight and lot number so very very nice thing and we're gonna keep them for a while yep yeah because cool. they're beautiful yeah so that's it that was part of the well I'm dying it's thing, a finished object it's, yeah. it's a finished yeah. object it's a finished project for sure um another thing that i finished uh i finished the first sock like a long time ago and the Have last you shown one. it no, not the finished one, because I only uh, I've shown the pro the progress on it, mm -hmm. but my last um, heel I finished it like two days ago. But this is just a pair of plain vanilla sock. Um, I'm using Woolens and Nash or custom colorway that we did during uh, the last holidays. Last in collab week. Collab week during the holidays, uh, I made make them toe up and then an afterthought heel and just like, like with a tubular bind off just something really simple um i love her base it is so thick luscious um what else to say except like buy some wolves and nuts yeah, it's so just it's, really good <laughs> i think 90 percent superwash targi and 10 percent nylon yeah from memory um don't quote me on that and so it's our own base. It's our own custom base, and it makes beautiful stock. That's it. The Fun colorway it. was called Le Garçon. Yeah, and I've already uh, from the last festival that I've seen her, I bought another skein of self striping yarn, and I'm gonna cast it on pretty soon because I like to have a little, you know, product yeah. on the go. Um, I mo if you come in the shop on Saturdays, we're there, and I'm mostly like knitting a little thing like a chat yes. at the same time so socks is mostly what i have on my needle yeah so done what did i do oh this <laughs> what one. did i do what did i do what did you do uh we were talking about project for the suck club the suck clubs that could be used in a shawl um i think that would be a nice one uh for oh, it yeah. because they're all single skeins and it could be i finished my brioche mode um Ooh. it's magnificent it's so much bigger than i expected i love it it's like a it's blanket. on the i think the length um i'm on gauge and then the width is a little bit bigger than than the gauge but then the shapes are fine so i love it um I don't remember which side is uh, but you can see it's symmetrical so you start from one end and go to the other one um, starting with that red triangle 
I showed that like a while ago yeah. in the podcast, and I think, if I remember correctly, um, I was there in one of those two. Um, I think I had done one, and I wasn't doing the second one. And then, basically, what happened is that when you're done this part, um, is it this part? No, when you're done those two, those, the metal one, the those two, okay. um, it's completely off the needle. So you've bound off everything, um, and then I was like, "It's done, <laughs> is it?" <laughs> um because like i had like not even one stitch on the needle so you then have to pick up and then cast on and no not pick up you just pick up and then do the other shapes but i got to that point and then what i should have done is pick up immediately even though if i i wouldn't have continued knitting but i should have picked up immediately and then because it's a simple this would, project that if you like, if you love brioche, you just yeah. will power, power through and have fun with it. So it's half brioche and half um, garter stitch. So the red parts in mine are brioche and then the rest is garter stitch. You can do this project with two, three or four colors. It's all explained in the pattern. Um, so you could do... Just basically, so the brioche two colors and the same two colors for the garter stitch. Or you can do one color. Yeah, you can do two, three, or four. Um, I chose four. I chose Nick's current obsession, the back of the brioche, and the uh, border is Twilight Send. The, and then the uh garter is vincent's highland coup and natural the undyed so really fun project has like a vintage look like a like i would see you wearing it during winter time and we could use it the rest of the year as a lap blanket yeah it's a really really fun shape it's really really fun so i used um those colors and i used british for fly our base our British um, four ply, four ply <laughs> base fingering, um, non super wash, seventy five percent, no seventy percent, BFL wool and thirty percent masson. And the colors are. I did say the colors already. You did. Did yeah. you say the, the, the design? Isn't... Oh. oh, the design. Yes. <laughs> well, I did mention it, but it's called Brioche Mode. It's by Susan Summer, so seen it. It was her. 2023 mystery knit along she be i believe she does one every year and the, the the other one should be coming up really soon because it's in the summer i had started that in the june summer. or july yeah. no it was one of your longest whip and because you worked at no, it and i have no. some still yes but this one you've worked through it through the year and i just like Put it aside for five months and then pick it back up and do it. Oh no, all I did. At once. I did, but like you, you put it on hold for a long time, but you picked it back up like two to three times after that. Know. When I, I knitted in the summer when we were yeah. at the cabin, then and, it was off the needle. Yeah, and then I picked it up at the retreat in London. And that's it. I thought you put and, you put no. No, I no okay no. Good for I, you. <laughs> that was my my London project, my UK project. Yeah. So I worked from, I basically did the other half in London, in the well. Yeah, and about uh, three weeks. All over the UK. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fancy. Um. Oh. Wait. I'm next. Oh. 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 <laughs> um. Next finished object is something I'm wearing. It is a brand new pattern that I released. Yes, the little foxes. No, uh, it's this shawl. It's the striped tastic shawl. Uh, I it's made using two fluff and one sport weight uh, yarn for the stripe. British sport. British well, sport. this one's British. Yeah, I'll I'll yep. talk about this one first. So my first original design was this one. Um, it well, is... no, it was not this one. It oh no, was... I. <laughs> I knew what I wanted to make the pattern and I've made so many swatches like I'm at a point in my knitting where 
I don't mind knitting like for two to, two to three days and then saying no, starting it, starting again. Like usually I was no. getting frustrated. Now I've made so many attempts at mixing colors. So I've tried so many ways. And the one that I fell in love with was uh, Cold Rain and these two Spin Cycle. Um, shoot. There's one, it's on Nocturne. So it's is their gray base. And I, I, no, it's not okay. Tin Ice. I forgot the names. Um, and I wanted to use them so that you have two different fades going all at once throughout the shawls. The shawl, it is in stockinette stitch and the stripes are reverse stockinette. So they feel like they are um, garter stitch, but you have one extra round that is on the wrong side. Um, it's knit sideways. You have some augmentation um, increases. increases. <laughs> Augmentations. <laughs> yeah, that's what yes. I, I had tricks in my head. Um, and you start from a cast on that is um, Icar cast on, but like not pointed. Um, I really wanted to play with the, the shape on this one. So this was my first one. And then I made a second one that I started actually in the UK. And this one is made with Officer on Fluff. And then edits Butler on British sport. sport. Yes. So that was hard. I know. It's just like, <laughs> it's like doing math. Oh, it looks nice. To give you an idea, you only need this amount. Yes. Of so two skeins of fluff, fluff, one British sport. And you don't really use it completely. Or like a, one uh, spin cycle. Yeah. Well, I think you use two colors, but I think one spin cycle would be enough. And I've linked in the, the pattern a tutorial so you could actually carry your yarn into the eye cord so you don't have extra uh, weaving ends to do. Um, I yeah, don't... you don't cut every for every stripe. No, you and this never... one I did actually, but yes. I thought it was too but many. But then I told things. him, you don't should release have... a pattern like that. Yeah. Because people are going to hate you. Honestly, I didn't mind, but yes, I thought, but... yeah. And then I made this one with not having to weave any ends. I'm like, oh, oh fine. Yes. <laughs> fine, I get it. Um, it's really fun and light. Um, I think it's a great project that goes with pretty much anything. Um, I love, I love when things are really tonals or like low contrast and I find them really hard to do because if you go too low contrast, you feel like you made a big effort and it's not really showing. So I'm really happy with how this one balances out. Hmm? Like a, I would see it like Kirby and English Rose or like low I contrast, think... but then if you play with texture, it yep. works. It's just if it's two of the same yarn. Um, you could replace the fluff with like two strands of mohair. It might be a bit like, too hot, but it could work. Or you just do what British sport together and it will be nice. So here it is. It's now on Ravelry and in our website. Stripe testing. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we have kits. Yeah, I'll show them, we'll show them later, but we've curated. Uh, mini kits it was quite fun and easy to do because you just need like yeah like and we also were surprised because normally uh the original kit or the second one which is usually our second best or like our second um is the are the most populars the most popular but people basically bought any of the kits that we made and then I other put people to, yeah yeah put, put their, their kits together, together. Which is really fun because it it's fun to see like different projects and different yeah, colors. Yeah, because when I do like patterns that are mostly uh, color work, we will tend to go into doing a similar one because why you fell in love with it is the illustration and the colors. Yeah, and this one is really like you can do whatever you want. It's only two colors, and you just go with the one that you really like. So that's this one. Congratulations! Thank you. You're next. I have another finished project. A hat. From the hat queen. The hat, from the hat queen, yes. <laughs> um, no, I won't put my hair down. Maybe you can put the hat. Yeah, because I have to on. put the other one. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the um, dog beanie. I'll yeah, put it here. I will talk yep. about it. Uh, <laughs> it's mine. Uh, this is the dog beanie from uh, Jean-Philippe Clich, our friend, Atelier Cliché. Uh, it's 
a very fun hat that's knit sideways. So you... And uh, flat. Yeah, flat. It's garter stitch, it's flat, and it's knit from the uh, cast on, which is the brim over here, the, the edge. And then you basically shape the crown by doing short rows. And it's super easy to do. There's a chart that's really simple. There's this one is, uh, it has, they all have four panels and depending on, uh -huh. uh, yeah, there's two sizes, one, this is a large one, uh, but it's really the depth from here to here that changes. And put it on, it looks really good on me. I, there's a picture on our Instagram. Yeah, it's not it doesn't look too bad on you. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it kind of lose it so it's a little big on you yeah you because it's, it's my big you head the large one yeah yeah um i used did, did you show that project on the no uh i'm the one who casted it on at first um no but i mean the the project that you had started with this yarn oh yeah i did that's so right. max had started a little project with La Bien Aimée Twist Nouveau and Mohair Silk in Pink Fetty held together, uh, abandoned the project. Yeah, I did it. I, you'll see in the next episode, I've decided to keep that stitch pattern for something else. And I thought that as a, just as a scarf, I was losing some interest. So I unravel it and then you use it to do the... Yeah, and then you started the Dunbini with this yarn? Yeah, so... with this one too. And then... I made, a, mis made a mistake at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, because I casted it on a Saturday while we were working here, and I made a mistake on like round two, and I just kept going until the end of the day. And then it's a really, really quick project. And then we went on vacation, and coming back, I'm like, oh, do you want to do it? And then, yeah. yeah. So I did it. Uh, one skein of each, you can do the large. Um, yeah. The You're like unfolded, that's what. Uh, I blocked it folded. Yep. Um, has Kevin and Ray suggested, or someone suggested to them? I don't remember. Um, it's really fun. Can you see more? Oh, yeah. You can see. Oh, uh, yeah. You can see the speckles a little bit. Yeah. So, it's a great project for speckled yarn, uh, yarn with mohair. I'm. It's using worsted weight gauge. So we held two strands, uh, well, we're set to Aaron, really, because, yeah. well, like more Aaron, because we used two strands of the fingering and then two strands of the mohair. So if four strands together, so basically just center pull and outside pull of both all together, uh, not even, well, not more much left, like maybe 10 grams left. So like it's a very good project if Bang you have like two yeah. skeins that go together you don't know what to do with it very fun project look very well with the la bien -Aimé, like the matching mohair yeah because we decided to do it with this one because we carry la bien -Aimé in twist nouveau and mohair yeah and we love our friend jean fille so we thought it was good be a great oh, yeah oh, yes great shop sample so yeah i brought a That's little like with me <laughs> this yeah. is like my favorite color we have and may both yeah. on uh Twist Nouveau and Mohair, that would be great. And then and I brought... Emma is the queen of speckle, and as you can see, any uh, combo he's bringing, um, there's like no pulling. It, with holding everything double, it just... Yeah, it's like gonna, nice... it's gonna, like the Mohair is gonna break the pulling yeah. on the thing. On... So then this one is uh, Grello. That's another one. Um, you could use like a speckled Mohair with uh, very muted neutral yarn or vice versa anything from wandering flock would just be oh, awesome too yes yep. oh the, no, do you have one yeah started yeah okay. <laughs> that's why i'm saying it <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that was it yep. done Bini by atelier clich jean-philippe here we go very fun project i think it took me like basically two knitting sessions well you made like four of them because it's just a great yeah. project once you if you don't do a mistake on round two 
um, <laughs> on row two. Uh, it's a great project to carry on carry mm -hmm. around and I'm guessing that if you've done one or two of them you're gonna be able to memorize it by heart and just do it like mm -hmm. you would do a vanilla sock so I think it's a great product I'll keep the hat bandwagon yeah. going <laughs> I made a muscle bra muscle bar I forgot. muscle B muscle burr muscle hat. hat um okay no shade to the designer or the pattern or anything. It is truly only my own, own experience. It is well written, but I didn't enjoy it making it because of my hand spun. Um, I was making it and it was sort of like highlighting every little things that I made wrong with my attention because it's just plain stuck in it and I was always seeing it. And yeah. so I just felt like, mm, I'm not enjoying it. I'm not enjoying it. But then You'll see it's like one of my best fitting hats. So it's just... Okay. And that's saying something. Because yeah. he yep. doesn't wear hats. So this is my own hand spun uh, with fiber that we tried dyeing here. We only dyed it once like last summer, I think. Uh, I wanted to fade it from gray to um, fluorescent yellow. Um, I paired it with one... There's supposed to be some blue in it, right? It was a grayish blue. Yeah. Anyway, it, it was Alex. So that's why I think that's why Alex Snowfield that we use the recipe yeah. for it. Okay. Um, so that was my first single was from on a hundred percent superwash merino that we dyed here, yeah. and the second single that I twisted it with was from fiber, uh, from artifacts of appreci appreciation. It was a really pale gray. So I thought these two were going quite well together. Um, if you don't know the muscle bra hat starts at the beginning here and then you knit you increase until you have enough to do your uh, circumference with the mat that she provided um, everything is just you could do it with like from fingering to worsted it's really a smart project where you could use anything and why I'm saying I didn't enjoy it is because of the stitches of how they were looking and actually once I've locked it everything looks fine so it's you know, it's that it's thing. It's true that it looked awful before being blocked. Like, it, it looked weird and weird. Come yeah. on, the, the shape is really strange. It looked like a deflated balloon. So it's hard to enjoy it while you're making it if you're not loving the yarn you have. So I, I was doubting it. And the other thing that I was stressed is I know I wanted to make sure that you would see some fade into it. And as you can see, the first half is really like just yellow. And I'm like, am I going to get to the gray before I'm out or am I running out of it? So not knowing exactly how it, something's going to look is not something I enjoy. So that's why I was stressed. Um, and this was like my project in, like we said, in the UK where I was like working while we were at the booth. And then New from Heidenheimer showed me hers. Uh, she made one with her own hand, her hand spun and it's just like, freaking amazing so I'm like okay I'll finish it finished it blocked it I'm wearing it and it freaking looked good on me like because <laughs> it's really stretched it's not too high the color is nice it's just a simple hat like it's one of, yeah it's the only it's the only hat that you've made that fits you well and now I want to make another one even though Lake May always <laughs> so it's so <laughs> weird like I complained the whole time and I think I think without hand spun I would maybe have more fun. So I could make it with one of our British base or something for my stash or even like Debian Amy held double with like Yeah, because it's a like we it. mentioned like the like, <laughs> it's a pattern for all yarn gauges. I think there's some limitations like light fingering to Aaron maybe, but like you knit a little bit and then you measure your gauge and then that tells you how much you continue. So it's like, yeah, looks nice. It was such a weird experience of like, <laughs> I was sure at the end because, you know, me and hats and then like the best fitting hat. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, so, yeah, I'm going to I'm probably make another one or I don't know if I'm going to keep just bringing like vanilla socks with me or this kind of yeah. hat on the go. So. 
there you go. It's by Isolde Teague. Um, is she British or Irish? She or Welsh? in Scotland. I don't know. Scottish. Okay, so she's a designer from the UK. Um, make one. Yeah. Let, let, or let me know if you're the same as me and didn't enjoy it. And yeah. then you're like, oh, okay, it's my best fitting hat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know last what? thing, yeah. What? No, not last thing. There's me before. Oh, no. Yes, last thing. For you. For knitting. For knitting. Finished object. Uh, that was my uh, grieving project, most of it. <laughs> um, I've decided that it's been a while since I've made some uh, color work project with my own illustration on it. And we've made a, a Black Raven um illustration a long time ago for one of the first club yeah. and then i turned this illustration into um fits point what's that cross stitch yeah a cross cross stitch kit well, so i yeah i knew i could actually turn this illustration to work like in pixel art i could actually adapt it to make it work as a knitting pattern so this is what i finished Ooh. So this is the Nevermore sweater. Nevermore come from Edgar Allan Poe, best known for the episode <laughs> the on The Simpson <laughs> from Halloween. <laughs> well, I, the, I told you, right, um, that I did a project in heart history about, um, mm -hmm. or no, literature, English literature, uh, when I was in college, um, about... Uh, literature used in other media and then we took a bunch of examples from uh the simpson because they did in their halloween they did a bunch of edgar hanpo yeah yeah they did and those the are raven. like the golden years yeah the and then they did telltale heart um so yeah yeah so this is where the title comes from <laughs> um i'm using our british uh dk for it it is truly the best yarn for color work that I find I've used it a lot of time. It is magical when you steam it. It just like get rid of all the mistakes you've made in your attention. I'm like, I'm so good. It is just the steam that is just like making it clear. Um, the base color is natural. Uh, the rusty um, red 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 is Alex's squirrel friend. The background of the crows are is. Um, Ray's branches, high Ray, and uh, the um, Raven is Mora's black rose. And I'm thinking of, you know, I've always tried to do a pun with like for the coupon code or something, and I, it's gonna be like the the crows have high eyes. Yeah, but it's a Raven. The Raven have eyes. Yeah. Um. We'll find something. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, and it, like with that illustration, it could be both. Like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You like crows more than raven? It's crows. It's you like raven yeah. more than yeah, I don't mind. Okay, <laughs> you think it's a cat? It's a cat. Okay. <laughs> um, so it is a, a. There's some rows that are three colors, but most of it are only two. Um, the color work goes until the um, the split for the sleeve, and then you have a little um, continuation under it. And just before you do the ribbing, there's a little touch to have like a little signature. Just to complicate the grading. Just to complicate the grading. Yeah. A little bit, but it's just let, let the little touch to it. Um, it's now in the hands of test knitters. I'm hoping to be able to release it before Knit City Toronto, so I could actually bring the sample and have some yarn at the same time. That's it. I'm quite happy with it. I am loving my color palette. I love going into muted colors. Like I did, yes, the um fluorescent yellow but this is like autumn yeah, vibes it's it's a beautiful color palette yep i don't think we need to make more kits oh uh, no i've made one extra one today because i was uh planning kits and yeah. instead of the out it's yeah this colors. one this one's nice yeah I mean, i've added yeah. just like uh yeah. the green from chris's Chris? fine green just yeah. a little a different vibe but yeah there we go so in the hands of test knitters, probably released in May. When is uh... yes, it is in May? Yeah. yeah, in May. If everything so, goes. So Memorial Day we learned this week. Uh -huh. <laughs> Memorial Day weekend. 
is Knit City. So the weekend before Memorial Day, because Memorial Day is a uh, Monday. And here it's the Victoria Day or Labor Day weekend. No, no. Labor Day is September. Mm -hmm. um, in Quebec, it's called something else. Uh, but it's Victoria Day. Um, uh, dollar, la fête de dollar, les enfants. No, that was that. That was before. Now it's <laughs> Patriots Day, I think. But that was previously named. Yeah. Okay. So Victoria Day yeah. um, weekend, May 18 and 19. So I have other finished projects. Are you ready for the most adorable thing? Yes. Well, this one had been shown. I can see good crayon. <laughs> oh. But I'll without do it again. eyes and nose. I can see clearly now. <laughs> um, I basically just before the podcast, I finished. I put eyes on him. Um, this is Alexander the Russian Blue Cat. It's from oh, I, I forgot the book. It's from Tuft. It's from Tuft. Uh, it's from the uh, Edwards Menagerie book. It's I'm doing them in order, so I did Emma the Bunny, which I gifted to my nephew. Then this was the second one, uh, Alexander the Russian Blue Cat. Russian Blue Cat. So it's done in tuft wool, has some tuft stuffing. Um, that's a little very fun tale. You weren't there, but there's, no... there's someone who came to the shop because we had it as a sample without the eyes, and we have little boxes where you could actually just buy a kit. And yeah. someone is coming often because she learned to crochet with them. And she came with her daughter and her daughter was like, look, mommy, yours have eyes. His doesn't. Why? <laughs> like, um, cause he's lazy. Cause I'm lazy. <laughs> um, cause they are hard. No, they're not hard to put the eyes, but it's a you, make it, it or break it. The eyes, you can make a little thing kind of look crazy. Yeah. So. So I finished him, uh, but I was uh, finishing him because I finished a complete other one. Oh, <laughs> but here Aww. it's Bridget the elephant. It's so cute. <laughs> um, well, uh, full disclosure, I have to do the tail still, but because I forgot. Uh, that we were filming today. I feel like she has a personality just with the way. With just no tell. You did this and then the. No, not the no tell. I mean, her face has personality. Oh, I, I had to redo one here. So, the thing about crochet, and I don't know if it's me or um, because I'm new. I don't know if it's because I'm a beginner or if it's because it's just something that happens. Mm -hmm. What? You want him? Alexander. Um, but I did both ears not at the same time and when i so i put the first one on uh sewn the first one and then i sewn the second one and i was like they're not the same size and i was like feeling them and they were not the same size like i was looking in the back like where i put them and i was like kind of lopsided and even then i see that anyway um <laughs> But then um, it's really because I didn't do them at the same time. And one was the tension was so much tighter than the other one. But I think and that even, even this one is smaller. Um, so it, you just lose the engagement. I don't know. No, they're, they're pretty much the same size. The arms of the Bridgets are bigger. They're not the same pattern. Okay. So then your tension shouldn't have really changed if you're... Well, I don't know. Like, the tension maybe hadn't had changed. Maybe I was more stressed out doing one ear than mm. the other one. I don't know. But one was, like, definitely smaller. And then I undid it and then redid it while trying to be a little bit looser. And I ran out of yarn. So... You, you, yeah. Yeah, I was... Um, yeah, it was... Yeah. So, this is Bridget. Um, so she's the fourth one in the book because the third one is Piotr that I, or no, I don't know, Pisa. No, you had it. I, I don't know, but don't, I'm sorry if I, think I you had mispronounce it. it. <laughs> um, and we were told it was Polish. Oh, I should have looked at that because 
Um, so it's a it's the polar bear, and I finished all of the pieces, and I've stuffed some of them. Uh, I just need to sew him all together. But I, because I brought Piotr and Bridget to Mexico. Sorry, that was one of my. I didn't bring. Did I bring something else? No, I think I just brought that. Yeah, you just brought crochet. Well, no, I, I brought my other whip, but I never, never touched used it. it. Yeah. yeah um, so I just crocheted uh, in Mexico because it was, I guess, easier. And it was also easier in the plane. Um, so I did most of... This was my plane project. <laughs> most of Piotr uh, and then Bridget. So I came back with... I had one little bag of stuffing <laughs> that I brought, which is like... People at the airport were the probably like would be like, why is he bringing stuffing in a Ziploc bag? Um, so, yeah. And then I just put Bridget. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Um, it, was actually, it was actually the first uh, reading the story. It's the first animal that the designer, Carrie Lord, made. Oh. Was it for um, like a daughter? Or for or Edward. Son. son. Edward's menagerie is oh. for her son, Edward. Tote da tot. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. So the, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. the body, um, so all of the tufts patterns kind of follow the similar recipe. <laughs> and the bodies and then the legs um, are standard. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> She's doing the year. Uh... So um, Bridget's body and Alexander's body are exactly the same. Um, his legs are standard. Uh, legs and arms and whatever. Uh, but Bridget's are a little bit bigger because she's an elephant, right? Uh, <laughs> but then I crocheted four legs uh, standard because I didn't look at the pattern. So I crochet. I have four legs already made with this color, so they're gonna go in a, on another animal at some point. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Am I being so much fun? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, next episode probably, Pieter is gonna be sewn all together. Yeah, adorable, adorable. <laughs> so other other shop samples. Yep. And that's it. That's all we've made. That's all. Well, it was a we've lot. made a lot. So the other whip that I mentioned that I brought to Mexico but didn't touch is something I started, I don't know when. But just um, before meeting. I think, was it before the UK or before? No, no, it was, oh yeah. I think it was before the UK. Yeah. Um, it's in my A Yarn Story Hein and Hammer Eyes Light Bag. And it's the... It's not too big, so I won't be able to show much. But it's the Kutar Beanie by Sari Norland. Um, the Kut she has a series of patterns called... I'm trying to find the front. So nope. she used that chart uh, for a sweater, which is truly amazing. Or Fantania made one. There's a cardigan. There's a uh, beret. There's a beret. <laughs> but a beret. And the hat was just like so good. So we wanted to have like a shop sample out of it. Yeah. So it's a beanie that starts from the top. And then is knit all the way down. So it's, that's it. Um, I really don't have much to say about it because you don't see the the chart well. The chart well, it really is gonna bloom, uh, or not bloom, but it's gonna like get a lot better when it's blocked. We're using our mohair silk and our British short ply, both undyed. Uh, I thought that it would be like a nice. Because her chart is really visually pleasing, it works really well like in different kind of projects. And the hat, even though, like you said, right now it doesn't look like 
anything once yeah. you get his shade you're really gonna be like oh it's really yeah because i basically just did um like the first part of the chart is not the complete chart so i don't mm -hmm. know if you can see better but that's it so yeah i'm ex i'm actually now that i'm seeing it excited to continue it because i like working lace or like yeah yeah you need you get lace to do pattern. something that's not every every row is different yeah which can then if you're interested yeah and i'm pretty good at memorizing the row so it's fun the only thing i didn't quite like was the wrap stitches there's like some um wrap stitches like over here where you just basically wrap your slip a few stitches back and forth and then you wrap the yarn around it um i thought those rows were so long because <laughs> um i think you have to wrap three or yeah three times so the a lot of back and forth but like i remember my first lace project and i just felt like i was a member of the Cirque du Soleil like you needed to do so much thing so, in yeah. one like knit six together and then make seven inside like if you don't know what you, and i was oh that was your blackberry stitch thing right no 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 it was it was a shawl that i made for my mom um it was like two color at first and then i made the red part in lace it was a really popular pattern like 10 years ago and what that's when i made okay. it with knit picks okay it was in a genre. okay it's shot and that's like the last one i did i think oh yeah okay you can see it so that's my project i have another whip that i think will get a little bit of priority um but you'll show I, it did you bring yeah it's okay it. so i'll yeah, I'll show it later. But oh, you can show it after. No, I only have one. Okay. Well, so I think the other whip is gonna take priority because it's Exciting. not more fun, but it's a new design. So, um, and it's a little bit easier than following a chart. Mm. But I'll finish that soon, and we'll have so many ha samples at the shop. We'll need to like buy. We'll show you some and then I have still because we got a lot of things made. Yeah. Because uh, Tanya, when she has some time by herself here, when there's like waiting for things to do or people, uh, she will knit, which is a great thing about having a yarn store. So she's making little samples for us that she likes to do too. Like we're making sure that she's enjoying knitting and they're just like, you do this. <laughs> and uh, we pick the color together and like it's mostly, you know, it's like something from Sari or Olga. So, you know, people yeah. we love. So we'll show them next time. Matching um, bags. Matching bags. So this is the 08. Um, so we can compare sizes from Hyde and Hammer. It's a little roll top bag. Goes like this. Like hat project, sock project. Hat project. Little shawlette. Okay. It's perfect. And this is the 03. It's a little bit misshapen right now because there's a lot in it. But... Um, it does contain a lot so if you like these kind of bags and you're looking for a new one we have plenty in the shop because like new is one of our favorite human beings so we yes. have a lot of her so stuff let's here. let's start by yeah getting the yarn out so it's a project in the enemy twist nouveau that we've showed um previously when we ordered uh the yarn we've specifically asked for them to build the spades with the color they had yeah because She's it's something face. well it's and it's also something we don't do so it's really yeah. fun too so <laughs> oh and those are are like super cute little balls from um our skein winder skein ball winder um uh, from daedalus the roly-poly makes like very beautiful and uh, is it gonna hold <laughs> I'll hold the last one. Do, do, so the last one. Do, 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 there you go. <laughs> Wait, okay. Just put it on top. Oh, no. So that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just put it on top so that you get to see the whole fade. Oh, uh, so go. when I when we put the color together, Are we wanted a f yeah, I can hold it. We wanted a fade that goes from uh, two opposite colors, so you really get the yellow to the blue, and the middle skein has a hint of both. Of the colors yeah yellow and blue yeah 
So in order. Winterfell. Winterfell, the north. Yeah. Patagonia. Grello, and Yellow Brick Road Graffiti. Yep. Um, so it's going to be. It's not much right now, and it's full of ends because we had to undo the first part of it um, to make sure we had enough yarn uh, because we're playing because of math. Because of math, <laughs> uh, we wanted to make sure that by the end of the shawl. Uh, oh, and we're saying we it's a it's a garçon design, so it's oh, a yes. design from both of us. Oh, okay. That's good. What did you say? No, I was gonna say we're saying we because, but it's me because math. But oh yeah, no no, I'm <laughs> I'm drawing your math. <laughs> yeah. So Max made a sketch that um, was inspired by our other design, the uh, holiday mystery box design from last year, the Frost Fang Scarf. Uh, so it's going to be a play on that pattern, but with fades. Yeah, so I took the recipe of the fade from the Volcano Trail and like putting it in the Frost Fang uh, construction. Yeah. So right now we're doing the first uh, triangle. It's going to be a little bit different than the other one. So we're going from Patagonia to Winterfell, and then we're going to attach the so this one's going to be like a triangle like this yep. and we're going to attach here and go from patagonia to yellow brick roll graffiti so it's going to be i'm calling it the frost fangs fade on my <laughs> on my computer uh, when i'm writing the pattern it's not going to be that but because max doesn't like it but um that's a very exciting project so i did some math to make sure that whenever we're um, done this triangle, we haven't used too much yarn so that we don't go over yeah, cause one we, skein of the... of the. Uh, we made a whole sketch, then we did like an Excel file to make sure we would have enough because there's a lot of planning required to make sure that uh, you could do it with five because we wanted to use as much as we can and make it fade at the same time. Yeah, It's going to be opposite triangle with two fades in them. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be quite fun. It's gonna be quite fun. Um, I've already done one full triangle, well, yeah. one half triangle, uh, and undid it completely, and then redid this. Um, and if you've done the frostfang scarf, which is fun, because because you start with the long side, and then you keep decreasing, so it goes faster as you go along. So it's really encouraging um, to do. So that's my second whip that I'm going to keep knitting on quite f furiously. Because it's a uh, garter stitch. It goes quite yep. quickly. And for example, this one, you have a lot of stitches at first, but then you decrease. And it's always like, ooh, fast, fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. So that's it. That's the new pattern in development yep. based on the Frostfang scarf. Here's the... Almost. <laughs> so see, five skeins, oh. the start of a project, and then there's still room in it to roll it. There you go. Um, so I'll do something different and ask you guys to guess what I'm working on based on the colors oh. um so that's like what are you i'm revisiting a pattern that i've knit before so it's you it's using this gray which for us is meredith's Meredith. gray this white which is natural on british dk is it linked to the... yes okay. it is <laughs> this is cardi o cardi's o and then is it's butler and my original product was in this D shade, but in a different yarn brand. So I've decided to revisit my first, first design, love. first love. <laughs> what actually got me into uh, designing? Um, I'm revisiting the For Fox Sake sweater. Um, why? Because it's been like five years and my writing style has changed so much. I've decided to just redo it. Um, people who already purchased it will have like a free update. And then, you know, um, I'm doing it just so that the writing will fit more with what 
the way we're writing patterns oh, now. Yes. The grading is going to be better. I've just yes. changed, tweaked little things. Yes. So I've actually changed part of the charts just to make it uh, more um, fit more. Like same thing for the shaping. So uh, here's what I have so far. Um, we two started like yep. yesterday. I'm obsessed, and I I don't know why I was so was scared of two days ago. No, three days ago. I'm just I love powering through um, charts. I just feel like I'm accomplishing something and I get in the groove. Just trying to... Okay. So this is what I have so far. Oh like... my god. And this is just steamed. And it's... It's beautiful. It goes so well. Um, I fixed... I had a lot of spot... A lot of um, more blues in between the shapes in the original one. I just wanted to like um, change it a little bit. And I've added the uh, back shaping to the top this time around. So you have more um, drays in the back instead of doing it after the chart, which was the way I did it originally. I'd, I liked it visually more, but um, I've seen people struggle to wear it and know which one is the, which side is the front or the back when you don't put a label yeah. here. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll just change it. Then you have to do it on more stitches. Yeah. Um, you also we started lengthening the the back shaping the back shaping making uh having more because we realized that um there was not enough and then it would come up did a i put bit. the my arm my wrap yeah okay um and it's the original one that i did was in mad tush a madeline tush it was a um super wash base um, yeah. It was a heavy DK, and it sort of, with time, because um, it's mostly three colors here, became to be just a bit too heavy for the um, for what I did. And I was looser back then, the way I was doing my color work. So now, uh, since I've gained more experience with it, um, I'm using um, a magical yarn <laughs> yes. that I love a lot. That I, you know, I've worked with it a lot, so I know exactly how it behaves. I'm just in love with this one, like. Like a lot. Uh, I'm really gonna steal it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm working on it. As you can see, I've started the glasses, so I'm really not that far from finishing the yoke. Um Yeah, I mean I'm so happy to do it again, like five years ago. It's not it's a complicated one just because uh, most of the rows are three colors. So it does require a lot of patience. But the thing with illustration in yoke you just want to keep going because you're seeing the characters come to life yeah and i was just like earlier today i'm like uh i want to start the glasses like I, and now i'm like two or three rows before the eyes i'm like i want to be able to make the eyes tonight because i want, just want to be like hi <laughs> you know <laughs> like be excited um and then you go steam it yeah i steam it every night i just because yes. it's like i said like magical yarn i just want to be like always pretty <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So that's what I have. Very nice fit. I have to redo my first one. I had started. That's one of the. Oh yeah! How you had plans of doing that before? Yeah. Then? Yes. Yeah. I didn't. But then I decided to change the colors. Yeah. So I'm gonna scrap the other one and then. Redo. It's just because when I made this one. Yeah. I feel like they are like in a. Ooh. <laughs> they are like in the same collection. Yeah. Like. Okay, I'm really happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I've started a chart to do like one for the kids because it's been a long time since I made something and this chart is the yoke is too long for uh, yeah. to adapt it. So I'll, I'll try to do something for kids soon. So that's it for what we have. And on the whips. The needles, on so we have lots in the shop uh lots of new things in the shop since we last time we filmed um uh, we have a bunch of new toft kits we restocked a bunch of them um we can we'll show more of them because there's some really cute ones um in the next episode but we won't show it more this week uh we wanted to focus on the club that is going to come out 
this weekend. This weekend, on Saturday. Yeah. Um, so that's new. If you are uh, subscribed to the newsletter, you're gonna get like the first. Uh, you're gonna get a direct link on Friday to go be able to buy it. Um, so we're gonna aim, aim, aim. <laughs> we're gonna aim to. Uh, we'll have to think about it this week, but I, um, yeah, before, before we post it, uh, when we will ship, but I think beginning of May, June and July is going to be the, um, the, when you're going to get the yarn. So mysterious city, very cute creatures. Don't want to miss it. And then I'll give you my phone so you can actually give me the names of the kits. Oops. I just hit. Oh no! I don't know. I think I just erased oh. them. Oh, <laughs> I can take my phone. And okay. Go on the so give me the name of the kit. So the first one is kit number one with the OG. It's two skein, uh, fluff in officer, and then it's its butler. Kit number two, I think it's Jonathan and Cold Rain. Um. Yeah. No missed. Nope. Missed. 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 I don't know. It's what's written there. So, oh, I don't have the right skin. So it's with mist, and this one is not mist, but you know, nope. <laughs> I gave you an idea. Yeah. Kit number uh, three. Kit number three is velvet and pepper's mint. Okay. So that's kit number three. <gasps> no. Yes. Yeah, it's really velvety. <laughs> it's really <laughs> velvet. <laughs> yes. Kit number four: marmalade and. Ellie. This one is really marmalade. <laughs> I'm really loving this one. I think Ellie with yeah. marmalade goes really well. Yeah. It's like a really bright and fun, and then you get a little complimentary with this one. And okay. then Feathers and Jill. Really Likewise. thinks. Really classy. It's really jilly. <laughs> and it's Feather and Gold Rain? Or... Oh, no. It's, 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 just... it's a better one, yeah. And then natural and golden red. Oh, you don't have it. Oh, I didn't take a little. So, um, can you see it? Yes. yes this one. Okay. <laughs> so natural and golden red, and then uh, boreal and carmen. Green. <laughs> and carmen. Carmen. So all of these are striped plastic. You, you're not even wearing the. No, I, I. Yeah, I had to put the. It's getting. <laughs> it's getting warm and then the last one is natural and uh shadow oh yeah so a little so fiona if you're watching yeah this one is pretty... like a neutral very good neutral that's our fan who does just like black and white and this is yeah. <laughs> perfect pair so once again straight tastic uh really fun construction quite a easy in it it can be a quick one but it's the kind of project you don't have to rush through because you know it's always yeah. fun to have a shawl on the go a shawl on the go <laughs> and a new thing for us uh in the shop because we've been we celebrated our fourth anniversary between this podcast and last is right no. um is summer yarn we <laughs> um it's something that is getting more and more popular. Uh, you see more uh, t-shirt or tank top for summer. And yeah. it's the fiber I'm really looking forward to uh, work with because it's done something I've never casted on with. But I've always been interested with texture and the way um, it's something hand knit that you could wear during the summer while, while it's like 40 outside. <laughs> so I think it's like something um, fun. We actually got kind of inspired or uh, yeah I, let's say inspired by uh, Sasha Heyer uh, Verona Nitz she's releasing she's a Montreal based designer and she's releasing a book called Island Vibes Summer Knits uh, it's a little soft cover book by Lance so it's has I think nine or ten patterns we haven't received it it's still on pre-order but um, it's $32 Canadian so it's really cheap 
for not cheap as in inexpensive low quality. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very inexpensive for, for high quality books. A very high quality books. The patterns are gorgeous, um, and two of them. Uh, one of them is done with Isayer uh, that we have in the shop, and then one other base is called Trio. Uh, there's Trio One, and this is Trio Two, and it's 50% uh, linen, 30% cotton, and 20% Leo cell. So it's a really uh, nice like summer yarn. So she has a little tea um called grassroots knitted with those uh in the book so we got the full palette 22 colorways it's in the shop it's really inexpensive and it goes a long way because it's 170 yeah. meters uh 16 dollars a ball and i think er like the smaller size take like five five, balls. five yeah five skin so i I think it's maybe because some units are knitted more like airy. Well, you don't have like the full sleeves. No, as I well. know. Like, like you still... don't have like sleeves and yeah. So if you're able to come to the store, do come squish it. It is really a rounded um, uh, yarn. Okay. It's really round and it's really fun and different. So I'm quite excited to see how it's gonna knit. We're having uh, Tanya knit a yep. little project with it. Uh, it's a little shawl. The Netty Shawl by Lily Kate France or France. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Sorry, Lily Kate. Um, so we have that. And then one uh, other pattern uh, is with La Bien Aimée uh, that we we also actually, stuck. Yeah, we are the only store in Montreal who carries La Bien Aimée, so we're quite excited about that. And then when Amy reached out and said, Look, um, oh, you know what? Sasha. <laughs> Sorry, Sasha has a pattern using our silk tweed. It's a shawl pattern. Um, so we thought it was a great way to, you know, carry yeah. kits for a Montreal designer. And it, it is a gorgeous shawl too. Yeah. So so this is silk tweed by La Bien Aimée. Um, it's 100% silk noil. And yes, noil. And silk noil is a leftover silk from the harvesting of the pure silk i don't know so um it's like a byproduct of the silk uh manufacturing and it's a really fun yarn we have a few colorways that are dyed by ma uh, and then we have a few colorways that have this, I won't, I don't know if we're going to see You see it. some of it, but the tweed are in a yeah, different color. there's a little tweed effect. Uh, this one is like a dark, very dark blue with some... It's called nebula, so it, it does really look like yeah. a, you know, uh, sky, nice sky. With little white tweed, and we have like a dark brown almost with red mm, yeah. um, little tweed. So very fun yarn so this is a shawl it takes uh two two one so two one two five. or three one three and this is I like think. a tweed yeah. one so it is te textured so it's gonna bring really a lot of uh, interest and texture to a stockinette fabric so i think even like a little tank top or t-shirt i think i want to make or a crochet the... a crochet i looked at uh, um the Cumulus tea, I think, by Petite Knit, mm -hmm. um, or the Rocket Tea by Tannis. Yeah, that would be cool. That I think I could make with that and mohair. Because it's too, like, there's stripes. Oh, yeah, and it's like a see -through Yeah, like a see -through. Yeah. So I don't know. And I'm, because we're not, I'm gonna, just going to make my sister's size have it. <laughs> in the shop as a sample until we run out the, of the yarn and then gift it to my sister for Christmas and then she's going to be happy um, and I'm going to be happy because I will have made her gift so that's it new in the shop summer yarns for us we've never really knitted but it we're much. exciting because well it's... I knitted with it remember oh the what, uh, before I quit eight what, years what was ago the, like like him no 
Litten and Leaves? No. No, it was uh, Nitpicks. No, no, no. You had to. Re you return the extra skin. So oh, no, that's so Lindy that... Chain. Lindy Chain is a summonet, but the, the, the oh, one the other one was uh, was Silk and something. It was Sweet Georgia. Sweet Georgia. Yeah. The... Uh, but that I did that. that I did the the Water Lily tea uh, with that, but I think. I guess it's a summer yarn, but it was silk mostly. I think um, that was one of my first projects. And you went all in with lace and lace and lace while decreasing. Lace on lace on lace. Lace on lace, but lace while decreasing and a Latvian braid, and yeah, I don't know how, but my sister loves it, um, and. Yeah, but then I knitted with Lindy Chain from Knit Picks, and I really didn't like. Um, but that was but very you much gave, an experience. You gave Tanya the leftover, and she knitted something she knitted, out of it. She yeah, didn't love very it. nice. Yeah. So I'm excited to knit something else, another project. When I'm done, those two. I'm gonna cast on this one, and maybe when I'm done, Piotr as well. And what's the name of the next? Uh, up you no. After the... Okay, oh. let's do some magic. We're gonna cut and I'm gonna come back. I'm not gonna cut. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> tip-it-toe, tip-it-toe. Tip-it-toe, tip-it-toe. So, um, we were very lucky to be able to get the Edwards Menagerie 10th year special edition book in the shop. Uh, it was not, uh, yeah, it was very lucky. We have very few of them. So it's the book that I'm using, that I started using, I, use, I was using the first edition and then we got those um, and those are signed by Carrie Lose herself. And just to show you, so that's Edward. That's so cute. That's Edward. Hi. And <laughs> have a menagerie. Well, I hope it's Edward. Like I'm saying that, but maybe someone's gonna say. So that's Emma the bunny, the first one I made. That's see, it kind of it yeah. looks like it. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why he's doing all one by one in the same order, he's a completed complete completionist. Yeah. So that's why. um yeah. Or, yeah, so that's Piotr um, in separate parts. And that's Bridget. Hi. <laughs> and the next one. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. It's, Hi. it's Richard. Richard, so the, oh. Richard, the large white pig. Oh, yeah. So that's the next one. Next oh. one is Richard. It's the next friend. <laughs> Look at the nose. Yeah. Oink, oink. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, have that in the shop if you want it. The it's the same patterns. I think there might be there might be an extra new one. ones. Yeah. Um, but the photos were taken again, and you can see that she got uh, a lot more experience at making the eyes and the nose, um, and they look like beautiful. Professionally so, done. Yeah. So. There you go. Next one is Richard. So thank you for watching. Thank uh, you. We'll see you soon, I hope. Yes. Um, sooner. Sooner than, than yeah, two months. months, that's for sure. Cool. So cool. Cruel. 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 Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Je l'ai vu rentrer tantôt, mais je comme elle était là-bas. Là. Oui, mais elle s'en vient là. Es-tu parti? Non. Je ne l'ai pas. Je vais